Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. How do you feel tonight? How are you? Are you okay? Positive vibes. All right. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. Today we are going to continue with the same topic as yesterday. And uh, it was kind of interesting to see the presentation yesterday, uh, how you manage all the concepts of these four um, a stages, right? Stages of the PLC. And remember that this is for all the time. This never changes. Okay, this never changes. Marketing is marketing. So this is going to be applicable to any a time, right? To any time, in any time too. Okay, now we are going to start by doing some feedback, all right? We are going to start by doing some feedback. Remember that we want to learn how to handle uh, the different stages of the PLC. Also, we want to apply the marketing mix that we're going to learn today. But most importantly, we want to learn how to express ourselves about these topics. And uh, one of the grammar structures we want to uh, drill here or to achieve completely is um, would rather, okay, would rather. And there are a lot of ways to talk about preferences in English. It's not just yo prefiero, yo preferiría, yo quisiera que, no solamente eso, okay? It's not only that we have different grammar structures to talk about the preferences. So I will give you a link at this moment, right? I will send a link for us to do um, a work, I mean, uh, a worksheet. But this worksheet is divided in three parts. So we're going to start by the first part. It's the easiest one. And we want to practice some, um, let's say, the different structures to talk about the preferences. And, well, allow me to send the, the link first, and then we are going to talk about it. When we express preferences and we use would rather, remember that the structure is that you are going to use the infinitive, but the simple uh, form of the verb. And the simple form of the verb would be the simple present, right? Or the verb infinitive. So we are going to do it. Uh, we're going to be careful when we uh, uh, say the verb, we need uh, to uh, be aware not to use to, not to use ing form of the verb or any other form of the verb unless, unless, we are saying that we prefer that, that someone else do something, okay? And in that case, we're going to use the, the simple past tense of the verb. Right now, we are going to see it in this exercise. And I want you to, to notice that because it's really important. So here it is. Okay, there you have it. So let's go to the test. And this is an, an online worksheet exercise. At the same time, you finish, you just click on check answers or to give you a score, just to see how it went, okay? So in the exercise one, we are going to use would rather or would prefer. Remember that if I say I prefer, I need to use um, to instead of than when I compare two options, okay? Por ejemplo, si yo uso yo prefiero, no voy a decir 
than como uso con el rather o con el would prefer. Yo voy a decir, en vez de than, voy a decir to. So, number one, it says, I prefer brown sugar to white sugar. Okay? Esa es una de las diferencias, ¿verdad? En las estructuras. Vamos a ver ahí. Number one. Ya estamos ahí todos. Are you there yet? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, number one, I just explained, right? When you say, I prefer in the simple present, yo prefiero, okay, I prefer this to this, something to something, okay? Wow. Um, let's go to number two. Number two. Okay, I don't want to go out. Then I say my preference, right? My preference is to stay at home. So I will uh, express this using would rather in this way. I'd rather, and then the simple form of the verb or the base form of the verb, right? Without to and without ing, okay? A ver entonces como quedaría, number two. I don't sure. want to go out. I'd rather stay home. Yes, there you are. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone said, teacher, tell me, please, let me know what's going on. Is there something I can give you any support with? Um, me teacher. Tell me, Ulisse. Hello, welcome. Okay, but uh, I believe that answer it will be to stay. Uh, when we use, but, uh huh. But uh, uh, I think I was uh, I was wrong about that. Yes, we use to stay when we use the verb prefer okay for example you say i would prefer to stay okay i can use with only i prefer i can say it with to or with the ing verb form and it doesn't matter okay but with would rather we use just the simple form of the verb okay has someone done the number three How do you pronounce that word? Trekking. Like that, trekking. Trekking, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, but that's like hiking or a similar thing. Yeah, it's a similar oh. thing. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay. So, what's number three? I don't know, teacher, but um, I like trekking the mountains, but I prefer to lie on a sandy beach. Okay. Well, in this case, I cannot use both together. It's only one verb, right? It's only one verb. If one I verb? have two options, then yeah. after prefer, right? Then I use two. Lying like, on a sandy beach. Comparing. Yeah, sandy. it's only ing. Yeah. It's only ing, but not yeah. two with ing. It's right. only ing or only two, okay, with the verb. Thank you, Good. But I prefer lying on a sandy beach, okay? That's correct. So number four, guys.
I'd rather go in December uh, than in May. Okay, number five. I'd rather come with you than stay here alone. I'd rather come with you. Mm -hmm. Than? Than staying here alone. Staying or stay? Than stay, uh, stay here alone because uh, right, yes. no, no move, right? Yes. Than stay, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's not ing. When we use rather yes. and both options, I use the simple form of the verb. Right. Okay. okay. Number six. I prefer traveling by bus rather than travel by train. Mm. No. I travel. No, because here we have, I prefer, and I have two options. Ah, so yes. I can't say than, but I'm, I'm going to say two, okay? And okay. traveling and traveling will be the same name of the action, right? Traveling by bus, traveling by train. So traveling by bus, two, traveling by train. I prefer traveling by bus. Sure. Traveling by bus. Okay. We can use rather than travel. Um, if we had over there, I would prefer. Yes, you can use it. But not I prefer. But I remember. Um, Did we do it? You use. Yes. Rather. Uh -huh, if, uh -huh. if we have rather in the sentence, we can do before done. Yes. Rather done. That's yeah, true. That is the reason because I you gave us an example. And, I thought, and that's true. Uh, if you use prefer, you can use rather. Uh, but I, I understand you. Do you it's depend on. Yes. yes, but look, yes. no, yes. but look, this is an okay. action, okay? When it says rather than travel, doesn't much because we are talking about the activity, not the action yeah. by the yeah. activity. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, but the activity. In this case, it's traveling by bus. So the next one can be travel by train. It will be traveling by train. That's mm -hmm. why it sounds kind of different, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's okay. When it is an action, and well, it, you you are going to master this as long as we practice. We are going to find a different case where we are going to use rather than, and you will see the difference, all right? Oh, I see. Okay, number seven, guys. Uh, I usually have tea, but today I prefer to have coffee, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, because it's, we I, prefer, I would. I, I prefer to have coffee, please. Yes, yes. I would prefer, right? I'd prefer. I, I'd prefer uh, to have coffee. We, we can use adding in this sentence or not? Um, actually, we could. Actually, we could. Yes, but with would prefer, I will tell you that you can use two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to use two, I would prefer. Mm, this is because when you use prefer, you can use both. Yeah, when you can use both, you can use ing or two. Okay. Yeah. But two mm -hmm. with the bear in, in prefer. Yes, to or have. Bear with ing, right? With the ing, bear form, about, yes. About are, it's okay. Both are okay, but um, you okay. will find the difference as long as you use it, okay? As long as you use it. In this moment, the correct one will be to have, okay? Okay. To have. Okay, do by yourselves eight, nine, and 10. 
the eight. Yes, yes, eight, nine, and ten. Do them by yourselves. The eighties, I prefer to read for a while that watch TV. Okay, number nine. I rather you to stay here with me in the kit kiss. Okay. I uh, actually no. This is the example I was talking about when you prefer than that someone else would do what you want you to do. All right. So uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, your desire for someone, okay? Your preference for someone to do something. In that case, we're going to use the past. Stay it. Stay yeah, it. The simple yes. past tense, okay? Yes. The simple past tense. So it will be stayed, stayed. It's like a mandata. You you uh, take a fast a decision. I rather you stay here with me and the kids. Yeah. Yes, it's your preference, right? That someone else yeah, do something but, that you uh, want. About but uh, with some condition. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yes, remember that would is for that giving a condition, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. stating yeah. a conditional thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, people, check answers and now a um... ten. The, ah, uh, number ten, yes. Yeah, she would prefer to stay in a hotel. All right. Uh would prefer, yes, because we have to stay, right? That's the clue. Right. That's the clue. Mm -hmm. So check answers and then you are going to find explanations. If you are not satisfied with um, understanding some, uh, not understanding something, then you can read each exp explanation, okay? To see this widely. Okay, what was your score? Did you get 10 of 10? No, hey, I got it 8 to 10. Okay, now check which ones you didn't check correctly. Oh, how, how can I how, how can I make it? Uh, just scroll down and you're going to find ah, the ah, answers with the explanations. Mm -hmm. I see. Ah, the eight that watch TV. Number eight. Yeah, I prefer yes. to read for a while. Yes. Mm -hmm. That. Okay. Rather yeah. than. Rather, rather than. than. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, on the first, I put, I prefer brown sugar than. Why sugar? Yes. Okay, here you've got the two different structures, Kevin. You were saying about the rather than and two, right? Remember, yeah. I prefer, I prefer, then you use two traveling, right? Instead two. of rather than. It's two. Yeah. And, and okay. number six, in number six, but this is the situation. Traveling by train is the name of the activity, okay? It's not the action. But if I say rather than watch TV, that's an action, okay? That's an action. It's not only an activity, it's an action. So that could be a clue when you want to structure this, okay? Or well, in this case, I prefer brown sugar mm -hmm. to, 
two. Why two? Uh, okay. Yes, two instead of one. Done. Uh -huh. You never okay. can say done. No, because you are using I prefer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You use done when you use rather. Okay, would rather. Okay, mm -hmm. click on exercises. If you see uh, the uh, at the bottom at the bottom of the page, you have one, two, and three. So click on two. And it's going to take you to another form, okay? Let's choose the correct option to complete the sentences below. Okay, these are two, um, this is an exam of two pages. But so, we didn't send you nothing right now, no? No, you, you didn't. didn't. Say. Okay, okay. I didn't say, but if you, uh, yeah, you're right. I didn't say, but you should. Yes, as a manner of evidence. Thank you, thank you, thank can, you. Can we send it? Yes, to you, just to you in WhatsApp. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. okay. Take the screenshot and then send it. Okay. And then you click on number two. Okay, I, I got it. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Oh, all right, Wilbur. No, don't worry. Is there any questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. OK. Please don't be afraid. If you have a question, let me know. OK, this is uh, the place, the right place where we have to solve our thoughts. OK. Well, let's continue then. Are you on page two of the exercise? Yes, I am. All right. So let's look. Choose the correct option to complete the sentences below. Sentences. So number one. I prefer to watch a movie. Okay, I prefer to watch a movie uh, to go to a concert. Right, it could be to go to a concert. Yes. Teacher, uh, can you repeat please um, about the action or activity? Good, very good. Okay, the activity usually is when you name with the ing, okay? Because they, it's a gerund. It's not that this is a verb, it's a noun, right? When I say watching, I'm not saying mirando. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying mirar, even though it is watching, right? Watching a movie. It is a action. No, that's an, uh, the name of the activity. The name of the activity. But okay. it, if I say just watch a movie, that's the action, okay? That is an action. Because the, it's a verb, right? It's just a verb. Watch. Oh. Okay. Okay. But that's only a clue, Kevin, because you will find that um in real life sometimes it doesn't match okay it doesn't match all right okay on the the second is he prefer to keep his job to be in fire okay continue guys the second is correct or? I won't say no. I did it just in the first one, all right? I did it just in the first one. But now you will find when you check the answers, because yeah. we understood just a, just a few of the concepts, right? Or the structures. Yeah. So now you have to practice them here, all okay. right? There you go. Uh, we, 
uh, uh, we filled all the 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 yes yes okay and then okay. we're going to oh. check the answers okay. by clicking on Excuse check answers I, no, okay. no worries no worries okay well You click on next page and go to number six, all right? Are you guys okay now? That part is kind of um, confusing, right? It's kind of confusing because you can use any of the structures, right? To talk about the preferences. You can use any of the structures. Um, when you have two options and you want to show which option you prefer over the other or instead of the other, okay, you can use, I prefer something to something. I would rather, uh, I would rather than I say something than something, right? Or, Mm, I could say I would rather doing something than doing something. I would prefer doing something than doing some, rather than doing something, okay? So yeah, it's kind of confusing. So you have to practice this a little more if you want. But then we have the number three. You will see some other different parts that it's going to be to make this like a pleader. Uh, 
Nummer drei jetzt. Mhm, mhm. Wir müssen es tun. All right, let's do it. Ah, okay. Ah, das ist Exercise 3. No, let's, let's check. Let's check. Ah. The, number two. Two. Ah, mm. number two, the, the, okay. Let's check it. Um, what was your score? What was your score? But. Did you check oh. your answers? Ya chequearon todas las respuestas en el ejercicio dos? I put it, but I lose it. <laughs> oh, you lost it. I don't know what, what I did, but because I I put it. Ah, you click uh, on number three. And then the next page. Ah, yeah, yes. I put the number three, you're right. All right, yes, no I problem. Thought. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, God. everybody. If you have your score right in front of you right now, oh. let's check it out. And let's do number one. It will be, I'd prefer to watch a movie. And what will be the option there to go to a concert e, no because it is i would prefer so it will be rather than right rather than go to a concert right rather than go to a concert this is the the thing that i was talking about we can use it when we have two options as uh, the name of the activity okay. instead of the action, right? But in this case, in this case, these are two options, okay? Two options. So we use rather than. So okay. let's see number two. He'd prefer. He prefer to keep his job mm -hmm. uh, rather than be. Yes, mm -hmm. rather than be hmm? fired. Rather than being fired. No, than be, than be. Remember that after rather than, it goes a simple form of the verb. Justo en esa, me equivoqué. Yeah, it's because we don't, I mean, we can he use two, to we can use job. ing either. Okay, number three. I prefer to have just a salad. Very good. Number four. I prefer, say you, what do you say? I prefer mm -hmm. to, to have, a, I prefer to have. To have. Yeah, a, right, a salad. it's correct. This one. Number four. I, I'd prefer to walk rather than go by car. There you go. Mm -hmm. Number five. I would rather become a pianist. Yes, uh, but look, uh, there, uh, there we have different options, but remember the contractions, right? I'd rather. I'd rather. Yes. yes. Number I'd six. Rather. Yes. Number six. I'd prefer to go on a cruise. Right. Good. Cruise. Number yeah. seven. Mm -hmm. I prefer running to swimming. Yes. Mm -hmm. And number eight. She prefer to work night shift rather than work at weekend. That's correct. Number nine. I would rather she studied something different. She studied, right? She studied. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Number 10. I'd rather he didn't do it on his own. Very good. Okay, let's go to number three. Let's go to number three. Ah, uh, check. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, here we, we're going to fill the gaps. We send you the, okay, the number three. If you have it, please send it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Filling the gaps well, with one word. In some sentences, there is a word in brackets that you will need to use. Remember, usually it's the verb, just as a manner of giving you a clue and also to use the correct form of the verb. If you have to conjugate or if you have to um, use the simple past. Okay, number one. She would prefer to stay with me rather than stay in a hotel. There you are. Mm -hmm. Number two. I would rather talk to you in private. Very good. Number three. And they prefer fishing to hunting. Number three, yes, fishing. Mm -hmm. Fishing, yeah. Fishing. They prefer fishing. Uh, to hunting. Yes. Number four. I prefer living in a small village to living in a big city. I would. Uh, I prefer or would. Oh no. I prefer. Okay. Okay. It could be I would prefer too. So let's see. I prefer to travel to different countries. Mm -hmm. Rather than travel to only one. Yes. Only rather, right. Mm -hmm. Number six. Yeah, I'd rather you Talk to him first. Yeah, past tense. Talked. Talked. Okay. I rather you talk to him. Ah, yeah, 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 but you first, yeah. Talked. Okay. Next one, guys. Would you rather finish this later? Well, I prefer to drink water. rather than wine. Yeah, it will be, I'd prefer, right? To drink I'd, water rather I'd than. prefer to drink water than, uh, rather than wine. Yes. I'd prefer. Exactly. I'd. Mm -hmm. I rather you took her to the hospital. All right. You took her to the hospital. I rather sitting in the car. Yes, to sitting. Mm -hmm. oh. Sitting is with two T, huh? Yes, it is. Okay. okay.
Are we okay so far? Yes. Okay. Everybody? Check answer. Yes, please check your answers and now uh, you will see your score. Okay. Let me just see this because my um my WhatsApp was not working. So there we are. Yes, all right. Uh-huh. No sé por qué no me funciona. Supongo que porque estoy conectada. Bueno, pero mi teléfono se apagó, así que tal vez también puede ser por eso. No puedo ver sus, uh, your images right now. A tomorrow, do you have many work? Yeah. <laughs> A lot of work, right? Remember uh -huh. that work is uncountable. All right, you can say a lot of work uh, lot or much of work. work. Yeah, much work. A lot of. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. So, is there any questions so far? Are we okay? Okay, I will send something because of Kevin's questions. All right, so just give me one second. Help me to get there because it's really important for us to visualize these things in, and have like a guide, right? like a guide, how to say something, how to do something, how to structure something. So this is the part where we did this. Okay, just one moment. Allow me to see if I'm able to send it through this. There you are. Okay, it functioned. Maybe this is going to give you a clue, all right? I sent some slides through the WhatsApp chat. Porque también tenemos la, la palabra or, ¿verdad? La voy a poner aquí en el chat de Zoom. Or, para decir o, oh, entre dos opciones, ¿verdad? O sea que hay muchas maneras. No solo hay una forma de hablar de las preferencias. Cuando ponemos two options. Cuando estamos decidiendo una opción en vez de otra, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos prefiriendo. Entonces... Cuando ofrecemos, usualmente es una pregunta, would you rather, ¿verdad? Preferirías. And usually we could use rather than or we could use, I mean, uh, perdón, podemos usar, would you rather this than this, right? Or we could say, would you rather something or something else, right? So there are a lot of ways to express this. When I say I prefer something to something, all right? There you go. And if you notice actions, activities, and things, all right? Estamos bien, Kevin? Um, I'm going to practice, teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you can stick to one, all right? La forma más apropiada para comenzar a hablar de preferencias en una forma correcta es apegarse a una sola primero, mientras yo voy observando cómo los demás utilizan las otras formas, ¿ok? okay. Uh, es lo, el mejor tip que le puedo dar acerca de este caso. Este caso no es sencillo, ¿ok? No es sencillo. Porque hay muchas maneras de hablar de preferencia. Okay, so let's continue, guys, because we want to go to the new topic. Teacher, and, um, excuse me? The attendance. 
Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Jose Miguel. Thank you. Okay, people. Yes, I'm going to call the roll. So please, everybody, turn your camera on. Remember the requirements from Interverb. And when I call your name, it will say present. Vale, vamos a hacer una cosa, sí. Voy a decirles una pregunta. Y ustedes piensen cuál de las dos opciones prefieren, ¿sí? All right. Y van a estructurar la frase, ¿verdad? Para contestarme esa pregunta. Bueno, en vez de decir presente. So, the first question will be, Would you rather do something you love and make just enough money to get uh, by or do something you hate but make billions of dollars? Vale, la voy a repetir. Would you rather do something you love and make just enough money to get by or do something you hate but make millions or billions of dollars? Okay, I will copy this and I will send it to you. There it is. Would you rather do something you love and make just enough money to get by or do something that you hate but make billions of dollars? So you will tell me the answer, all right? You got it? Todos comprendemos la pregunta? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yes. I prefer uh, the money. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> A ver, Elias, if you got it, could you please explain everybody what this is going on? I mean, what this is about? Um, well, <laughs> everyone uh -huh. has to say what we want. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. In my case, I I will uh, <laughs> I would rather do something that I love that something that I hate hate than something that you hate. All right. But remember the money is in the game here. Okay. It's on the table, the money. So that's the thing that tempts to you, right? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. To earn money or not earning money, but doing something you love. All right. This is the situation. Everybody gets it? Todos lo agarramos ya? Sí? No. Yes. Todavía no? A ver, ¿quién me dijo no? A ver, a ver. Sure. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What, uh, what does it mean? Hate. Hate, odiar, mm -hmm. detestar. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The idea here is that you have two options. You have two options. You will tell me what's your preference here. Okay. What's your preference? Would you rather do something you love and make just enough money to get by, como para sobrevivir, verdad? Solo hacer dinero suficiente para sobrevivir pero haciendo algo que le gusta, ¿verdad? Yeah, or no. or <laughs> yeah, I know, Miguel, I know. <laughs> or do something you hate, algo que no le gusta, hacer trabajar en algo que no le gusta, but make billions of dollars, pero hacer, híjole, billones de dólares. So, you will tell me your answer, all right? <laughs> Okay, I will call the roll. So please, everybody, thinking about your preference. Okay, so Alvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Um, one second. Miss Ana Lorena Lovato Arellana. I prefer to uh, work in a hate place 
and air one billion. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, what is Alexander? I prefer, uh, I prefer do some, doing sometime low. Uh, and earning just enough money to live. Yes. All right, good. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Because it would not be. Carlos Alberto, we're not able to hear you. We're not able. I prefer, I prefer uh, something you love. All right, something I love. You you have to, to change the pronoun because you're talking about yourself. All right, good. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez Cepeda. Um, I would rather uh, mm, uh, hello, uh, make something, hate something. Okay, uh, okay, ordenemos, ordenemos ajá. ahí, vamos a ver. I, I would, would rather, rather, ajá, ¿qué es lo que prefiero? I would rather I do would rather, something, uh, do something, do something, hate. <laughs> I hate, do something I hate, I hate ajá, than, but, ajá, than, uh, yeah. Well, mm, because I, you're earning billions of dollars, right? So yes. That's why, because of the money. Okay. Then okay pay, yeah. If you're well paid, then you stay there even if you hate it. All right. Good. A ver, ordenemos bien la oración. I would rather, y usamos la misma frase que tenemos en la pregunta. Escojamos cualquiera de las dos, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, como me preguntaron con would you rather, yo voy a decir I'd rather do something, ya sea I love or I hate, right? Pero completo, ¿verdad? Completo, donde dice, um, and make just enough money to get by. O puedo decir, I'd rather do something I hate, but make millions of dollars, ¿ok? Escogemos una de las dos y vamos a ordenar la oración de esa manera con una de las opciones, ¿ok? ¿Estamos ya? Vaya, vamos a ver, vamos a okay. seguir por acá. Edwin, Antonio. Quintero, yes. Sumaña. Ajá. Um, in my case, I would rather do something I love and make just enough money uh, than something I hate, but make billions of dollars. All right, good. Even if I have uh, money, all right, uh, available there. All right, thank you. Thank you, Edwin. You did a good job. Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. I would rather do something that I love rather than something I hate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you, Elias. Eh, Eulise Torres Torres. I rather to do something I love and my and make just enough money to get by anything to get in my by. Life, to get oh, by. okay, good, good. Pero cuando decimos would you rather, el verbo va sin el to, okay? Ahí diríamos o cuando usamos I rather, voy a decir sin el to, solo I'd rather do something, okay? Okay. Good. A ver, next one will be Fatima Noemi. Umaña Castro. <clears throat> Miss Fatima, are you there? Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Hi, hi, hi teacher. Um, I prefer and need to do something that I hate, but 
with the money. Ah, ok. Acordémonos que con prefer yo tengo que ponerle el to o el ing. Cualquiera de los dos, pero con prefer voy a poner to or ing. Acordémonos de eso, ok. I prefer to do something that I hate, but getting millions or billions of dollars. Good. José Salvador <laughs> Bernal Quintanilla. Lo siento, teacher, vengo llegando a casa, no he podido prestar la debida atención. Ah, ok, ok, no problem, but thank you for being there. Stay there, please. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. No sé, oye, I can't hear you, Hosman. I'm sorry. You're having trouble with your audio. Okay, vamos a ver. Um, Karen Iset Sanchez Castro. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. I would rather do something that I hate, but make billion of dollars. All than right. Do something I that I love and make just enough money. Okay, good, good. I don't judge. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, Nelson Alf. Uh, perdón, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. You changed my name. Yeah, I almost did it. I almost did it, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, I prefer to make billions of dollars doing something that I hate than just <laughs> enough, but, but not for a long time. Oh, okay. Just making enough billions. <laughs> Yeah, only the time necessary. Okay, the necessary the time. The necessary time. All right. Okay, well, I don't judge, I don't judge you or either. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Um, I would rather work in, in something that I hate, but make, that, make money. Okay. Uh, than rather work in something that I love. Okay, when we use would rather, we use the, the verb in the simple form without ing. I would rather work, okay? Work. I would rather work, work. in something that I some... hate, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. There you are. Santiago Roberto Calderona Velar. But would you rather, uh, your audio, please uh, turn your microphone on. Oh, excuse me. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I prefer to do uh, something uh, nice and uh, I love uh, than to get billion dollars. Oh, okay, good. Uh, even, uh, but imagine if you are doing something that you really love and you can make the billions that you need, right? Yeah, so right. that will be no, that normally, will be. Dreaming, normally right? is <laughs> nene normally the tendance in the world yeah actually it doesn't happen usually it doesn't happen <laughs> right yeah. it's one of the uh, or the other right yeah, but, right uh, if you if you did something ten thousand times that do you that you love you can reach what you want <laughs> yes, yeah of course. It's, because it's of your, the, the, all right yeah the life all right uh -huh, like paid up, right? Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Ah, he's just a listener right now. Okay. All right, people. So now I think we have the idea. We have the idea how to answer when someone asks you your preference between two options. It can be uh, with more options too. It's not only with two options, it could be three options, four options, or any more options, okay? 
So what you have to do is just to get the option that you want, put it right after I would rather, and then the verb with, I mean, in the simple form, okay? I would rather do, I would rather have, I would rather walk, I would rather, I don't know, run, I would rather eat. So that's the correct form. Okay, then I will do just, um, the, I wanted to do something just as a manner of having fun. Okay, but mm, let's say, would you rather work? <laughs> this is kind of, no, esa la dejamos para mañana mejor, porque esa la tenemos que pensar y darle vuelta. Vaya, una nada más. Would you rather um, uh, let's say bike or drive? Okay, would you rather bike or drive to work? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Getting like bike as a verb, all right? Or the action, the activity, right? It will be, would you rather bike or drive to work? Um, you say bike? Yes, yeah, bike. bike, bike. Riding a bike, to ride a bike, ride ah. a bike. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but I said, would you rather bike or drive? Okay, would you rather bike or drive to work? What would you rather? I would rather drive uh, to go to work. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jose Miguel. Uh, well, actually, I I would rather I would rather work. No, bike or drive to work. To get to your job. <laughs> I would rather bike. bike to my work. Bike. Okay. Yeah. Bike in a motorbike, in a I'll... motorcycle, or in a bike? No, in a bike. Okay. Uh, fun fact, I live uh, two blocks near to my work. Oh, great. You make a walking. I, yeah. I walk everybody every day. Nice. <laughs> Healthy option. That's a very good yeah. option. <laughs> and you do it like uh, depends kind of because uh bakery in the middle of the way <laughs> so it's not a healthy option no. <laughs> choripan in on the way <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Uh, okay all right people i mean kevin i would rather drive all to right. my work Okay, but, Carlos said, uh -huh. uh, right now, currently, currently, I I bike my motorcycle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would rather drive a car. Oh, good, good. I understand. All right, Carlos, Ernesto. Uh, I would rather drive. Drive. Yeah. Okay. Hosman? Hello. Aha, uh -huh, now we can hear you. Okay. Okay, I would rather uh, ride on my job. Ride to, ride. to. okay, ride to work. Yeah. All right, good. Mm -hmm. That's what we say, bike, instead of just ride, okay? There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, now we're going to continue because it's 9.05 and remember we have the presentations and we want to hear you guys. We want to hear your uh, analysis. So let's go to the break of rooms and take just two or five minutes to put everything in order and um, for you to distribute your uh, the parts of your speech. So we're going to go to the break of rooms just as a manner of, uh, of the preparation, okay, of your presentations. Let's go right there.
Okay, this is the situation. I have the groups. For example, I have in room one, Carlos Alberto, Edwin Antonio, Jose Miguel, Torres, and Nelson Alberto, right? And then in room two, tengo a Jose Salvador Bernal, a Carlos Ernesto, Eulice, Santiago. And in room number three, I have Boris, Osman, and Rafael. Los voy a mandar a ustedes y después a los que no están en las listas, me van diciendo en qué grupo o con quién les tocaba, ¿ok? Para poder enviarlos, ¿sí? Correcto. ¿Estamos de acuerdo, jóvenes? Sí, teacher. Ok, please. Uh -huh. Don't remember was... Ana, Lorena, ¿en cuál la tenía usted? ¿En cuál quedó ayer? En el tercero. Eh, ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién? Eh, con Rafael, con Boris y con Kevin. Ah, ustedes pasaron ayer, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. Ya voy a llegar por ahí con ustedes para ver qué es lo que vamos a hacer, ¿sí? Elías Neftalí, ¿con quién quedó ayer? En, de, en, en el grupo número dos. Ok, room two, good. Kevin Alfredo, ¿con quién quedó? With Rafael. Ok, mm. so it was... Room... In the number three. Oh, okay. There you are. And Wilber, do you remember who with you were working to? I mean, who were you working with? Uh, group number one. Okay, there you are. Teacher, you are mute. Teacher, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the audio right now because I was trying to open it up and I couldn't. Something is happening. Maybe the problem with Osman is the same one as I had. Okay, look. And your manuals, go to your manuals. And there we have two questions. We have on page number 17, okay, on page number 17, we have two questions, all right? It says, what do customer, customers want from a service or product? And how is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Okay, this is a discussion we are going to start when we go back after the presentations. So you can discuss that right now. I will send you the slide I prepare for your discussion, okay? Ok, there you have it. Ahí se los mandé en el chat de acá. Ahí están las dos preguntas para que discutan un poco acerca de esas dos preguntas. Las vamos a trabajar después de que pasen sus compañeros a las presentaciones y así ustedes ya tienen listo un argumento de lo que ustedes piensan. Ok. Eh, the, the right, question, right here. Right here in the chat. No nos ha llegado. No nos ha llegado. Haven't I sent it? I can see. It's a slide. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So there you have two questions. And the first one, let me just see this. It says, what do customers want from a service or product? And you can have some arguments there. How is the product you sell different from the other products, right? Or from the products of the, the competitors or the competition, okay?
Ahí pueden discutir sobre esas dos preguntas y ya tienen un argumento para comenzar la discusión después que sus compañeros eh, hayan hecho su presentación, ¿ok? Ok, los dejo. I'm going to another group. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, this question is about the product of the presentation or anyway? Yours. I mean, the one that your company produces or uh, you can think about one. Uh, if, you're, if your company doesn't offer a product, maybe a service, right? So you can talk about your own. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. No, 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 Introduction, growth, maturity, y decline. Teacher. Hi, tell me. Uh, we are with nothing actually. Oh my goodness. How, uh, uh, how come? Let's speak in Spanish. Como todos hemos estado esporádicos hasta hoy, estamos como que ya más, más enfocado. Uh -huh. Entonces no, no estamos tan, tan, tan preparados como deberíamos a esta fecha. Uh -huh. Y queríamos, y quería consultarle, es siempre continuando la presentación de las cuatro etapas, ¿verdad? Del exactly. producto. Exactly. Uh -huh. The PLC. Uh, PLC, que es Product uh -huh. Life Cycle, el Introduction, Grow, Maturity, and Decline. Exactly. But, but I remember you uh, put an example of Pepsi. Pepsi. And no, the example uh, yes. I gave you it was about Samsung. Samsung, Samsung Note uh -huh. 7. Go ah, okay. to the platform and go to the discussion label. You're going to find a post. Um, el video está... No, it, it is on the platform and there you have a presentation as an example. Discussion, let's see. Okay. No, it's All right, okay. 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 No, no lo puedo abrir. It's just an image. So you can follow just as an example how they um, analyzed the stages of the product life cycle of the Samsung Note 7 because it was withdrawn from the market and then it was relaunched. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have here the presentation, but um, this one image. But um, here it comes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have to to do something like this with another product. Yes, exactly. With the product that you chose, I mean, uh, that you but, chose to analyze. But if our product don't have a relaunch, for example, it doesn't matter. You are, you are going just to present the stages the that decline. that product has had. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Well, All right. everybody. Mm -hmm. This is we have to do.
of my sequel and with my cycle will present the Samsung Galaxy. Two competitors enter the market. Okay? Immaturity, okay. can you read? Immaturity, Ulisse? Uh, let me see, please. Let me hold on. Un decline, Elias, can you read it? Yeah, okay. it's my part. Sales will fall, huh? it's easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Product losses, it's appeal. Mm -hmm. Perdió el atractivo, huh? Yeah. Still yeah. competition in the market, advertising is reduced and then mm. stop it. Production may be stopped in the future. Ah, está. Okay? Any question? Okay. Uh, oh. um, I would like to... How do you say repasar? Me gustaría que repasáramos. Para... ¿Quién va a comenzar el segundo, el tercer y así? Okay. No sé para qué. Sí, fuera bueno. Uh -huh. Okay. I begin. And then... Yeah. And then... Uh, I begin with product life cycle. We have four stages, and I begin with the market introduction. And uh, uh, the uh, second stage is the uh, growth from Carlos Ernesto, maturity from Ulisse, and decline from Elias. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. You first, um, Roberto. Hmm? You first. Yes. Okay. I can begin. I don't know. On the the, the teacher is so. Uh, yes, I'm there. right here. I'm right here. Uh, are you here? <laughs> yes, Santiago. What what he is saying? What Elise is saying that he wants to practice here before of sharing with the class. Ah, we can then. We right. can do it. Yes, ah, okay. you may start. Yes. I, I think we don't have more time. Okay. No, we do. We do. Okay. All right, we do. Okay. Uh, we are groups number uh, uh, two. And uh, uh, we choose uh, uh, for the product uh, Fruitsy, uh, uh, the product life cycle to. Uh, 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 explain. Uh, I begin with market uh, introduction and the uh, other uh, friends, they uh, have the another stage, uh, the stage route, maturity on the climb. Uh, the market introduction with Fruitsy, uh, Fruitsy was launched in the 80s as a beverage uh, for children from three years to eight years old. At the first moment, the parents were not aware of the new brand, but very fast every child wanted to drink or uh, drink it or to take in the lunch box. Uh, it was not healthy, but easy to buy and pack. A lot of advertising and uh, distribution of testings, tastings at the school and sport venues were needed to impulse the market introduction and sales. Uh, it was my part, uh, the first stage, and then the, uh, let us with Carlo Ernesto with the, another stage. Carlo Ernesto? Carlos Ernesto, hello. Eh, eh, tenía el micrófono apagado. Eh, the, the second stage is, is growth. In this case, eh, sales start to grow rapidly. Persuasive advertising may be used. Prices may be reduced as new competitors enter the market. Profits start coming. Rootsy was a product of brand register and accepted by the population, it was distributed throughout. Maybe, maybe. No, but the product, the products uh, of Ala Doradas is similar with, or with 
our competition. Is, isn't dif aren't different? Is a uh, of or offer? Is uh, more cheaper? Yeah, uh, our products are. are That's the. Are cheap. Um, um, toilet, toilet. How do you say variedad? Variedad de. Toilet paper. De suavidad. No. No, no, no. Cheaper toilet paper is okay. Cheaper. Cheap. 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 Toilet paper. Mm. Where where do you work, Rafael? Where do you work? Do you have any or some products uh, uh, that, that you sell? I work in I work in General de Equipos. General de Equipos. And what products? Ops or service. I so um well no, we we have a machinery, a cat caterpillar. Oh okay. Uh, mm. John Deere and uh, our we machinery. Can, <laughs> yes, uh, uh we can say um, that you sell good products. A good products, your cat is the a, quality products is higher mm -hmm. higher than Maquinaria, the como se escribe? Ma machinery machine uh, machine machine but, <laughs> okay. but don't worry it's okay <laughs> okay, because it's time. It's time, guys. Okay, we're going to listen to the group of one two. second. Yes, room two. Mm -hmm. And let me just check over here. Who are they? Okay, it's made up by um Jose Salvador, Carlos Ernesto. Elias Neftali, Eulise Torres, and Santiago Robert. Okay? Yeah. Now, this is your time, so please share with the class your analysis. Uh, can we uh, share here? Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, we are uh, group two. Uh, our group two show, shows the fruitsy product for the PLC, PLC product life cycle. And uh, uh, I partic I will participate with the Mark get the introduction, uh, Carlos Ernesto with the second stage growth, Ulisse uh, with the third uh, stage maturity, 
un Elías eh, eh, with the fourth eh, stage decline. Eh, market introduction from Fruitsi uh, was launched in the 80s as beverage from uh, for children uh, from first years to eight years old. Uh, it was a target. At uh, the first moment, the parents were not aware of the new brand, but very fast, every child uh, wanted to drink uh, Fruitsi or take in the lunch box. It was not healthy, but uh, easy to buy and pack uh, a fruitsi. Uh, a lot of advertising and distribution of tastings at the schools and sports venues were needed to impulse the market introduction and sales. The second stage, Carlo Ernesto, please, your turn. Okay. This, uh... Stage growth is sales start to grow rapidly. Persuasive advertising may be used. Prices may be reduced as new competitors enter the market. It start coming. Uh, Fruitsi was a product of brand register and accepted by the population. It was distrib distributed throughout the country because it could be found in all stores. Its largest consumer was the children. That was a product great demand. Yeah. Lise, please. Okay. Uh, now, uh, maturity about the Fruxy sales now increase slowly intense competition in the market. Competitive or promotional pricing in may be used advertising and a pension that is highest to use sustained growth. Profit, profit may soon start to fall as the product enter the saturation stage. The reason for the decline were mainly two, the loss of public interest and a big number of competitors um, like Hugo's del Valle, the Lipton, and other sodas. The brand still exists in the market because it was sold to industrias La Constancia Coca-Cola uh, in 26. Thank you. Okay, good. So it declined and is still, I mean, it is still in the market, you said. Yeah, but uh, all the, the brand was sold to um, Coca-Cola. Okay, so now Coca-Cola has it. Yeah, because I think the these kind of beverages were um, this... I mean, were play, uh, replaced by these Chinese things, right? Or uh, local yeah. things, local brands that came through Dollar City, through the, through the stores, I mean, convenience stores, right? So that's why, even though the Lipop is not anymore in the market, I think, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not, I'm not so sure, but the Lipop, is similar to Fruitsi and they were like the uh, first competitors, right? Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But uh, it's a big difference because uh, Fruitsi, yes. it was a, a mark, a trademark uh, uh, in Middle America. They have selling Middle America, Fruitsi, because they okay. got the salsa, salsa. When they buy, when they decline, the, the uh, reach the maturity, they were they were so clever that they sell mm -hmm. uh, to Coca Cola. All right. But the Lipop is a local uh, uh, company brand. Yes. Like a, yeah, yeah, brand. It's, uh, Do you remember UP? And UP was the other one, right? When Fruitsy was in the market. Do you remember yeah. UP? 
I, yeah. yes, I yes, remember. I do. In old piñatas, you found yeah. In old piñatas, you found fruity, yupi, and the lipop, right? <laughs> right. Very good product you chose, guys. In and the party. Yeah, for for um children. I would rather the lipop. <laughs> oh, all right, good. I would rather the lipop than fruity. Okay. Great. Okay, guys, time. you did a really good job no. and you define each stage in the concepts that we studied. So congratulations, you did a very good job. A very good job. And it was really clear. Okay, people. Okay. Now the next group, is it? I mean, is the next group ready? El grupo de Jose Miguel? Jose Miguel group. Are you guys? <laughs> Are you guys ready? I guess. Then All right. Second. Okay. I think it, so. Yeah. Please stop sharing. Who was sharing? I don't remember who was sharing. I. I ah, Santiago. Remember. Please, you may stop sharing now. Ah, uh, wait a minute. What can I do? Uh, just stop sharing. Go to the options right there of sharing, and then it says stop share. Ah, stop share. Okay, I see. There. Okay, very well. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, teacher, and we have the presentation, but that we don't have an order to show the, the presentation in the in the way we change. Okay. Well, but we, if you want try. to stay and and then you give the turn for each of your classmates, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Well. Our product is Microsoft Windows 7. This was a, a operating system for different PCs. We present Microsoft Windows 7. It is a major release of the Windows NT operating system developed by Microsoft. It was released to manufacturing in July 22, 2009 and became generally available on October 22, 2009, in the same year. It was an operative system for use on personal computers, every computer, including different versions like home and business for desktop and laptops. Well, the first stage, market introduction. At this stage, the new product is brought into the market the, the product was development in star development in 2007 and introduction was in 2009 was released 22 July 2009 with that name Microsoft Windows 7 that's the commercial name uh, among Windows 7 new features are advances like uh, in touch and hard writing recognition you can use the the screen if the the, the, the computer have the, the option to write or use your fingers like uh, different uh, dispositivos. I don't remember the word. Devices. Today. Devices today. Uh, support for virtual hard disk, improved performance on multi core processors, uh, and improved boot performance, direct access, and kernel improvement. These last improvements are very technical, but uh, but uh, that was the difference with the previous windows, the Windows Vista. The next part is the ground. Uh, some one of my partners okay. want to, to read. Nelson? Mm, it's okay for me. Um, Go ahead. The ground for Windows uh, uh, market presentations uh, from 209. 2009. Sorry, 2009 to 2015. After it released, Windows 7 gained significant popularity and with spread adoption by both types of clients, individual users and businesses. Right. Uh, the operating system received positive review for its improved performance, established and user-friendly in interface. Many users upgrade from other 
version of Windows such as Windows XP and Vista to Windows 7 during this period. Microsoft released service packs and update to address bugs, enhance security, and introduce new fit features. Someone else, or I continue. Okay, maturity. But the maturity and mainstream support since uh, 2015 to 2020. In January 2015, Windows 7 entered the mainstream support phase, during which Microsoft provide regular updates, security patches, and technical assistance. This period saw the operating system reach a stable state with a mature picture set and a large use base. <clears throat> Windows 7 remained a dominant operating system in the market, particularly in the enterprise environment. Enter enterprise environments. I don't know who one else wants to read. Okay, decline. Uh, the last one decline, uh, the growth in the sale decrease because there are many competitors. This is the specific day that support for Windows 7 and was January 14th, 2020. So prone and software update from Windows update uh, that help protect your PC are no longer available for the product. Okay. Since January uh, 14, 2020 to January 14, 2023, however, during this phase, non-security updates and future improvement, improvements were no longer provided. The end of life for Windows 7 occurred on January 14, 2023. Okay, so was it discontinued? No, it's that, that's all. Okay, no, I mean, Microsoft yeah, the, the, Windows the 7, yeah, ah, the product? Yes. It the product. Was, the, the, the product was live. Okay. Is there mm -hmm. any device at this moment that you know that uh, operates or it's operated by Windows 7? Actually, if you have a PC with Windows 7, you can still use it, but uh, you don't have any uh, update support. or support oh, or okay. inclusive the new. Uh, antivirus or different programs are not uh, are not supported by this Windows. Okay, so if okay, good. Work, yes, so correctly, if you uh, uh, if you go to the to your browser on your PC Windows Seven, uh, your browser uh, may uh, give you a message. Mm, okay. uh, and the, at the Windows uh, telling you that the uh, Windows 7 has not support anymore. Oh, all right. Good, good. Okay, people, just be careful with the dates. When you say dates, or when you say the date, remember to use the ordinal numbers instead of cardinal numbers. That's important. You have to do to uh, emulate the TH voice sound, like, right? 14th, it has to sound, it has to sound, right? The 22nd and in, instead of 22, okay? It's 22nd and with the years, it's okay. You can separate into two parts like 2020 or 2023, but from 2000 to 2010, it's better if you stay in a complete number, the full number, all right? So please be careful with those um, observations. 
Okay. Thank you very much. You did a very good job. You have a lot of information of this product and you did really a good, a good job. Okay, thank you very much. A ver, vamos a dar los likes para el grupo de Santiago primero. Vamos a ver todos likes para el grupo de Santiago. Vamos. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and Elias is still. <laughs> okay, good. Nine. Uh -huh. All right. Now, para el grupo de Jose Miguel, likes. There you are, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven. Uh huh. Eight. Okay, good. Hello, Ana Lorena, tell me. <laughs> no, teacher, me equivoqué, oh. hermano. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. It's all right. Okay, thank you very much, guys, because you did really a good job presenting these analyses. It's important that we understand the, um, the vocabulary we're using because we need to know how to apply the vocabulary. At the same time, we need to understand the vocabulary. Also, we need to express those words in the correct way, okay? In the, uh, where they really fit, right? Like handle language, right? Okay, people, so now we are going to start a class. Um, I mean, <laughs> to start a class, no, to start talking about the new topic, okay? The new topic, because the class still uh, from the beginning, right? So. <laughs> going on, I don't know, this feature where is your head? <laughs> I didn't know where I left my head today. Ya me dio risa. Vamos a comenzar hasta ahorita la clase, creen ustedes. No, my goodness. Bien, vamos a ver entonces el nuevo tema del día de hoy. Because today we have a new topic. Remember that we are talking about the four keys of the marketing mix marketing this is the general field we are studying and the vocabulary related to marketing uh, but to start talking about that we need to know what is marketing right what is marketing that will be the question we need to ask remember so we are in unit two and it's marketing. And yesterday we needed to see the four P's, right? The four P's uh, because the marketing mix, the marketing mix has four elements, four elements. Stop sharing and I will share in a different way. Four exactly. When we talk about marketing, when we talk about marketing, marketing is not just one activity. It has different activities. So if it has different activities to make a strategy, it needs to involve a lot of elements, right? It's not only one element. It's not about the product. It's not only about the name of my company. It's not about only the people in my company. It's not about the concept of the product that I offer. It's not the way that I produce. No, it involves all the processes to offer this product for buying or selling, right? So that's marketing. Uh, and we want to see a definition, a short definition. What is marketing? What is marketing? This is the important part here. Allow me to get that. Marketing is okay. strategic for the silence. Marketing mm -hmm. is a strategy. For the salad. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a great, I mean, to create or creating, right? Creating strategies for sales, for the sales, all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go to this conversation we've got in the, um, in the manual to understand just a little bit what this is going uh, uh, two or what this is about. For example, it says Tim and Diana are talking. Tim and Diana are talking. So we want to see what they are saying. 
They are talking about this thing called marketing mix. And it says, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. Hey, somebody must... Yeah, it was Boris, I think. I'm sorry. Somebody I have... need to, to silent the microphone because it's too loud. Yes, thank you very much, Roberto. So let's read about Team and Diana uh, conversation. It says, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warrant, guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitable, I'm sorry, inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure, and be sure to understand the four Ps. Now, second question, how would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. I'll give you 30 seconds to read it, okay? Please turn your camera on and I want to see your lips moving when you are reading, reading aloud. Don't open your microphone, just reading aloud, and I want to see your lips, right? No yes. abramos los micrófonos y solo quiero ver que se muevan sus labios leyendo. All right. Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary or any word, any pronunciation? Any pronunciations for the word guarantee or guarantee, I guess. Okay, this is guarantee. Ga ga guarantee. Okay. January is Inevitablemente, pero in yes, segunda. this is kind of confusing and it's very hard to say because you have to do the stress here. Inevitably. 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 Yeah. Inevitably. Repetitor. Yes. Inevitably. Inevitably. Yeah, inevitably. Inevitably. Yes, and when it is, este es inevitablemente, ¿verdad? But if we say inevitable, something inevitable, it's kind of different, the ending, right? Inevitable. And this one is inevitably, inevitably. Okay? And the last one, uh, the last paragraph well to put it plainly oh. oh to put it plainly plainly means así de plano verdad para ponerlo así eh, de frente verdad ¿Mm? sin rodeos ¿Mm? No more questions? 
Okay, we want to listen to Hosman and Edwin, okay? Uh, Hosman will be Tim and Edwin will role play as Diana, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, how do you say pl uh, the, the fly uh, to put in the plainly? plainly. Okay, to put it plainly Pronounce. like that. Plainly. Plainly. Mm -hmm. plainly. Okay, yes. thank you. Plainly. plainly. Okay. Okay, Hosman, you may start. Okay. Uh, I am Tim, right? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, for the teacher, the. Bueno, en la pantalla arriba no logro ver por la que dice este. Estoy viendo la pantalla, no me deja ver las primeras líneas. Ah, all right. Uh, it says, let's start with the most important part. Uh -huh. Okay, I will do it in a different way. One second. Okay. Okay, thank you. Allow me just one second. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. First, the peer question. I'm what sorry, are... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will do it in a different way for you to see it better. I'm sorry. Okay, I think it's better this way. Okay, the first line no view for the of the writing. Again? Uh, the first line no view because the mess. Okay, you can move it. You can move it. Okay, I'll do it again and I will do it basics. One second, one second. Bye. There you go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Heard the peer question. What are the, the key elements that guarantee the suicide of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand before PAs. Now, second question, how will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, thank you very much. Now guys, if we think about what the marketing mix is, okay, marketing mix, it means that it has different elements in um, in these uh, combinations, okay? This combination, that's what mix means. So if we think about, this is a combination, we have to think about the elements that um, become marketing, right? Uh, what marketing is worried about? What is marketing worried about? Or at least, what are the interests or the, uh, the points, the main points of marketing? So it will be the right product, the right place and time, the right promotion, okay? The right promotion. So let's think just a little bit about what do customers want from a service or from a product? What do you think customers are looking for in a product or in a service? Uh-huh. 
What do com customers want from a product? The customer want the three B. Mm -hmm. A good, cheaper, and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the three Bs. Uh -huh, okay. The three B. The three yes. Bs. Okay, in Spanish we could say B. Bueno, bonito y barato, right? So, yes. Yeah. yes. Good, beautiful, and good. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, yo le pedí al grupo que ya había pasado que ellos eh, nos dijeran un poquito acerca de estas dos preguntas. A ver, jóvenes, explíquenos así rapidito en un minuto. What do customers want from a product or a service? Teacher, uh, product, we were, we were discussed that uh, the customers want from a service or products a good quality. Mm -hmm. uh, they rather buy product just in time than a late product. They are uh, accessible, accessible price than an expensive price, and quickly answers about the sellers. All right. Do you want to share that? Uh, that's uh, that slide that you yeah, prepare, yeah. please. Okay. Uh, this is what they did, guys. Mm -hmm. So this is what Kevin was saying, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do customers want from a service or a product? A good quality. And they rather buy product just in time than a late product. Uh, three, they rather uh, accessible price than an expensive price. And uh, the customer wants quickly answers about the sellers. All right. All right. But good. I think I, uh, may I say something? Uh, yes, I, you may. I think uh, I, I I can see a place because place is very important for a product when you buy. When you buy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. You have seen the product, the price, near and... or not near, but a uh, uh, good. Uh, a quality mall or, or place or atmosphere, uh, you know, or security. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Right now it's very important in our countries or so every country is the security. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yes, and this that's place. about the place. Yes, good. Because but... it's a, one P. Huh? Yeah, it's one it's P. P. Yeah, yeah, it's one P of marketing. So yeah. let's see what they um, conclude about how is the product you sell different from the other products of your competition? This is about different products from their companies, okay? So can you explain this, please, Guy? Yeah, we, we take it, uh, our companies. We took, and we took. We, we took. took, excuse me, we <laughs> took our companies and my company is Ala Doradas and um, our different products is cheaper toilet paper. And Rafael works in, in a company when, when the equipos. and he sell machine, machinery, machinery with a good quality and a long life. Good. And Boris uh, works in a company when- Where, where? Where? Mm -hmm. uh, do they offer? Healthy uh -huh. oil and- uh, healthy uh, uh, You need a, a, a each, product. each there, healthy. An H. An H. An H. Yeah, after the letter T, you need to write the letter H. But now he's in the presentation, so it's not a, he's not able to add any, any or do any correction. Okay, guys, you did really a good job thinking about this. So it's your turn, guys, to think about 
what you want from a product or a service in the local market, okay, Salvadoran market. And also, um, if you have seen the differences between some products that you already consume, okay? We are gonna okay. talk about these tomorrow. Remember, we compare prices, we compare, um, we compare the product itself with the features and the appealing, right? Now, we also compare the services or the product by the company who sells it or who produces these products and also the way they do it and the prices more than everything we are always comparing prices okay people it's 10 02 right now so we are going to call the roll please everybody get ready i'm going to call the roll just to finish the class and uh please say present when you hear your name i will do it quickly alvaro ernesto aguilar peñate Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Presente. Present. Okay, <laughs> good. No problem. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Lisset Sanchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Present. Good. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. We're here, teacher. Good. Santiago Roberto Calderona de Lar. Have a nice evening. All right, you too. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present. Okay, we're there. So now today's turn for the session one on one is for Elias Neftali. So are you able? Uh, do you want to stay, Elias? No, teacher. I'm, I'm Not really, today? really tired. Sorry. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to switch the turn? Yes, I can stay. Okay, you want to say? Very good. Okay, people, then go to do your homework. We are talking about product price and um, place and promotion. We haven't uh, defined it, but you can, by association, go to do your homework. All right? So see you tomorrow at 8. Bye-bye. 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 Okay. Take a good See rest. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Here we yeah. are, Santiago. How are yeah. you today? How do you feel? Yeah, fine. Uh, well, uh, normally I have, uh, I, I want to tell you, I studied in Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. I can hear your accent. I speak, you love I speak, the yes. British. Yes, I wanted to to say, it. Uh, and I, I, I speak Germany, German, and uh, I speak uh, fluently German. All right. I, I speak German with my wife. I speak German with my uh, daughter. Oh, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's interesting. The reason and I mix uh, some uh, uh, words uh -huh. because okay. they are similar. Yes, are similar. you mix them. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, that's the reason because I I speak fluently German, but I right now I speak uh, English. I read in uh, since uh, four years or so more than oh, I read okay. with subtitles. The subtitles. Oh, okay. the, the Netflix. Oh, I, right. I hear it when I read. 
Okay, okay. So, so you, you do it from German to English, to practice English. No, 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 English, English. Oh, all right. No, I was thinking about that you speak German. That's why you... Oh, yeah, I uh, speak German. And on, normally I speak German. I don't think. I speak. Oh, all right. Because all right. I went uh, eight years there. Oh, all right. This I, is I, interesting. I did... I, did uh, I, uh, I, I made my, my... The old study, uh, university study there. Oh, okay. I did Germany there. I study Germany. I... Uh, study the university and I make a postgraduate too. Very good. Okay, this is really interesting to know. And yes. well, and it's very, um, you know, uh, uh, let's say it's an advantage, some advantage because you have also listened to the European accents, right? Yes, so, right. Yeah. yeah, and I can feel it from your opinions. When you share your opinions, I can feel your your British accent. Yeah, ah, you, like you, British. You can, ah, I see. Yes, okay. for example- yes, these... I wanted to mm -hmm. you that uh, sometimes I, I say something uh, in German, uh, you say uh, some words in, and I have uh, in German. And oh, that's a, okay. Uh, oh, that is a, a German word. Oh, okay, okay. So you do the association from uh, British, I mean, from English, German, Spanish. So you yes. do the association there. I All right. Normally, I don't think I don't think in Spanish, in German, uh -huh. or in English, or English. Oh, okay, okay. So you I just know is, do. Yes, okay, yes, it's like yes. in. A, I, I'm trying. I am trying. Pilot. Yeah. I am trying because. Uh. Uh, for two years, uh, it was very difficult for me because I dominate German and okay. I I spoke English, but many words I uh, spoke uh, in German. Oh, okay. and I wanted to speak English. Oh, right, yeah, I understand. I understand. It happens. And I went in Germany. In, in in the Czechoslovak uh, Republic, uh, Czechoslovak, and uh, uh, in September, when I read it, uh, I spoke uh, German, but I have I have had many uh, English words. Oh, I I like... spoke in, in English words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Uh -huh. I turned it. Yes, yes. Uh, like a confusion, but it actually it wasn't. It's the yes. you just use uh, the language uh, as you can handle it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is really interesting. And how do you feel the class? How do you feel in this class? Yeah, I feel very well. It's uh, I I learned a lot of uh, vocabulary. I learned that uh, you make. Uh, that we have a, a good feeling to, to the class and uh, we participate uh, many times and it's okay, it's very well. It's All good. right. Uh, and did you yeah. study with us in, uh, I mean, how long have you been studying English with us and Inglés Corporativo? Uh, uh, I took many, the, the others, uh, but I interrupted. Uh, okay. I interrupted. But, so is this your first one with us or in this school? Yeah. This school, then yeah, I, I went in the others. Uh, it's cool. Others. It's, yes. Uh, okay. So this is your first level with us. No, no, I, I have the other ones. I don't know which is the first, the second, and the other. Okay, from the intermediate. Ah, I, okay. I don't know what's the name. That is, uh, I I went with the, the uh, beginning on the second. I don't know. Which oh, one. all right. But good. I interrupt. I interrupt. Oh. Because okay. the, the, that's the reason I want to... to Okay, to, to, to come back. Slowly, to come yeah. Back. yeah, yeah. All right. To I, that I, will be to get back on tracks, right? To get yes, back on yes. tracks. At the right. Next, 
next uh, Monday, I, I think I, I, I will travel to Mexico. Oh, but I will seriously? try to, to make uh, uh, a participate. I will try it. Uh, uh, okay. right. or, or if you don't have, if I don't have a meeting, but I will try it. Yes, because one of the requirements here is the yes. attendance and yes. you have to accomplish with the score. Yeah, attendance yes. score is important here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All I, I right. Will try with the. Uh, I don't know how it uh, functions the with the uh, uh, with mine. You see, in German, <laughs> it's handy. Oh. Handy is uh. the name uh, from uh, cell. What is that? The name? For your cell phone. Uh, okay. Yeah, cell phone. Cell phone. Uh -huh. Okay. In German, is handy. And the and in British is the mobile, yeah, the mobile. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. When I say I read mobile, when I read uh, uh, when when I read in 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 in, in Netflix, yes, oh, right. okay. I did it, but I say, yes, yes, you get the confusion of the words right there. I don't uh -huh. know. I, and what about try, your children? I what will about... try tomorrow with the cell phone. Uh, oh, okay. To connect me. Too. Okay, so is it tomorrow that you are leaving? No, no, I'm leaving you on said Sunday. Monday. Oh, so next Sunday. Next Sunday. Ah, okay. Next so Sunday. you. And how long are you going to stay there? Uh, on Friday. Oh, until like, Friday. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The whole week. But on Friday, my wife ha has a, a birthday, but oh. I will take. It's her birthday, all right. Yeah. And what about your children? The, was it difficult to uh, make them speak your language, like Spanish, when you were in German, in Germany? Was yeah, it difficult for us? For, for you, I'm sorry. To speak uh, German. No, no, wait, wait. Was it difficult for your children to get the Spanish language when you were living in Germany. No, no, I, 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 I didn't have a, a child or, or, or oh. a woman. No, no, no. I, oh, I, okay. I, I, I knew my wife in Germany. Ah, oh, right. She comes, she, she comes from Venezuela. Oh, and right. And she speaks German too. She studied there. Oh, okay. When she came. Uh, with me yeah all right yeah. good to know this is really interesting i'm so happy that you could share this with me all right yeah. and now i feel that we know just a little bit more of you okay? yes, yes. Yeah. yes. On, uh -huh. on, uh, the kids they learned uh, in uh, uh, um, uh, german school Ah, okay. They speak fluently German and English. Uh, all right. On the two daughters, one studied in USA, on the other um, in Canada, in Vancouver. Um, okay. And what about the Spanish? Do they speak Spanish? Yeah, they speak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all the, right. the oldest one, uh, she's, uh, she's a teacher in... Uh, uh, Matias Delgado University. Oh, okay. Good. Yes, she, she is coach, uh, life coach to oh. certificate. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is high level from cert. Uh, is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Good. Um, so she held. She holds these. Um, uh, let's say. Diploma, right? Diploma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this is really interesting to know. And <laughs> yes. yeah. And I, I hope you to... feel okay in this class, that you feel happy yeah. and that you Thank learn you. a little bit you more, are, right? You are nice and and I, I want I I want it I want to ask you uh, your pronunciation uh, did you live in usa or no no I, but I, you speak fluently oh yes i think yeah, that's like because I, you were you were there or like that but i didn't know you i i but normally uh when you hear somebody that is in el Salvador learned english don't speak like you oh doesn't speak like you 
Uh, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, my maybe it's because of my experience with uh, because uh, with the British uh, school where I studied because oh. I studied in Guatemala, so I, oh, I had this different a uh, relationship with uh, foreigners, and you know it okay. was uh, easier to me because of church too because in church I participated with uh, like- um, With English people, England. Yes, uh, yeah, from- Multicultural. Uh, yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. It's because of that experience. It's not about- well, There are many that people who came there. from Wales or from Scotland or- Yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, from England hear, and I from the United you. States too. From the United States too. Yeah, yeah for the missionaries. I can hear and... you. Different. Oh, yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. All right then. I see you tomorrow and take a yes. very good rest. We will okay? see you tomorrow. See good evening. You. Good evening. You. you too. Good evening. Bye. Too. Bye.